The AGM-62 Walleye 2 is a TV-guided glide bomb that can be fitted onto stations 2 and 8 of the Hornet. The Walleye incorporates a 2,000 pound warhead and is normally used against large static targets such as buildings and bridges. Its TV sensor is used for weapon guidance by detecting and locking onto high contrast targets within the Seeker crosshair. Once locked on, it uses its large wings to glide to the target and uses control fins to adjust its trajectory. It then uses either an impact fuse or a delay fuse to detonate the warhead. Let's jump into the cockpit and take a look at how we can use this weapon against a static target. Kovaletti Tower, Kong 2-1, taking the active. Kong 21, Cobaletti Tower, cliff takeoff when ready, surface wind 230 at 5 knots. Takeoff, Kong 21. So we've just departed Cobaletti airfield and we are manoeuvring ourselves to point towards the target area which is at waypoint 1 and we can see on our HSI the waypoint 1 is denoted by a circle with a dot in the middle. What we're going to do is we're going to fly just so that we get a bit of range away from the target area. That gives us some time to set up the weapons. What we'll do is we'll set the waypoint up as a target by clicking waypoint designate and that now shows up as a target instead of a waypoint. Select master arm to arm, select air to ground mode which switches the displays and then we're going to select FLIR and just before it masks we should be able to see there's our target, a Russian BTR there it is. So we'll continue ex extending this way until about 10 miles away from the target and in that time we'll set up our weapons. So on our stores page we've got WEDL which is Wall Eye Data Link. We can select that as well as the data link itself. Then we can select whichever weapon we want set up so in this case we'll select um, station 8 you can do that by selecting weapon and then WEDL uh, we can also change the fusing so we've got instantaneous and delay fuse uh, as well as the aft antenna on the data link so if the weapon is behind us we'll use the aft antenna just to get some better reception you can also adjust the brightness and contrast just to make it a little bit easier to see and then we can start moving over to the target so because we've designated the waypoint as a target when we point towards it when we uncage the walleye it will automatically slew towards that target point point. and as we turn towards it you'll see on the HUD uh, we've got this TTMR or time to max range so pointing towards it now, you can select sense control switch left and that will select the TDC on that display. Cage uncage, that slews it towards the target point. And then because we're in range we can select button release. One away and the walleye is tracking. And the walleye will now be communicating with our data link pod to provide us a live image from the weapon on the screen. The weapon should just track directly onto the target. And you can
can use TDC to press and then SLU to uh, just move the crosshair. And we'll have a look on the flip page. Boom. Splash one. One thing to look out for is that the walleye lofts when the Hornet is travelling fast. It doesn't care if there is a wing in the way and will happily ruin your day. To avoid this, maintain a constant speed around 420 knots to stop the walleye lofting when released. That concludes this episode on how to use the AGM-62 Walleye 2 in the DCS FA-18C Hornet. Be sure to check out my other videos such as the laser guided bombing tutorial where we explore how to use paveway bombs against different targets. Thanks for watching.